Hi, Keith here with another statistical video, this time looking at some summary statistics in Minitab. So I've had a question come in about looking at skewness and kurtosis in Minitab. These two statistics describe aspects of data and may allow you to determine whether or not the data you have fit a normal distribution. Now before going to look at Minitab, I'm going to recommend this particular page here from VPI Consulting because it has some very useful information and advice about skewness and ketosis and it illustrates clearly what these two statistics refer to and has graphs displaying them. OK, let's go over to Minitab. This time I'm working with some data I generated using Minitab functions. So under Calc, I used random data to generate some normally distributed data. Yeah, I could have done something non-normal, but for simplicity, I just went with normally distributed data. And then, of course, I used the calculator to get the data I'm going to work with. So I've got two groups here. Each group has 50 observations in it, and that gives me plenty of numbers to graph. So, skewness and ketosis. Stat, basic statistics. Whoops, try that again. Stat, basic statistics, display descriptive statistics. So I've selected data as the variable and group as the grouping variable. Statistics here. I'm just going to hit skewness and ketosis. I've turned all the others off for simplicity. And then I'm going over to the graphs option here and I'm going to have histogram with normal curve and also a box plot. OK. So, first of all, in the box plot, um, it's looking quite nice. And as I'm using normally distributed data, that's what I would expect. So if I hold the arrow down here, I can get some uh, information about the first quartile, the third quartile, and the median. But the median is fall right in the middle here of both, and there doesn't seem to be anything too odd there. Let's have a look at the histogram. So, just by going through some statistics, I can get Minitab to drop a histogram of the data, separated here by group 1 and group 2. I've got the mean and standard deviations there, and it's plotting on a normal curve. So neither of these distributions is either skewed or showing a problem with kurtosis. And indeed, the standard deviation coming out at about 10 is what I used when I was setting up the data, and the difference between the two here is about 50. Over here, to the statistics themselves, uh, for group 1 and group 2, you can read in skewness and kurtosis. And that's pretty much all there is to it. For information on interpreting those statistics, I refer you back to that web page I pointed to earlier. Hope that's useful.